You're a sugar baby currently. You know, there's a lot of titles for that, but we'll run with sugar baby. Uh, no, prostitute. Let's run with prostitute. Sex worker. That That's a better one. Sex worker. <laughs> Lord Fader coming back at you with another video. On this one, we review Kendra G singles. I saw a young lady on this, and I saw this video first on uh, MTR. So please go and support Mediocre Tutorials and Reviews. That dude is really awesome. Uh, he's got a great perspective, so check him out. But today, uh, I saw this young lady, and I'd like to do this video because... Even though a lot of these videos are critical of these young women, I don't want to be critical of this one. I think she needs help. I can see pain behind this lady's eyes and the way that she's acting. Uh, you know, there are many things that we do nowadays that are not the best thing for us. And this young lady is a great example of that. So without further ado, let's ride. Okay. Oh, this is looking ugly. Okay, we gotta go into my room. My forehead looking big. Okay, well let's go. And then wrong your forehead, lady. Let's ride. <laughs> okay, it would still look a little big, but whatever. What's your name, baby? Um. So my outside name, my street name is Holiday, but my real name is Kayla. Street name. Say it again. Your name is Kayla. Yes. Kayla, how old are you? I'm 25. 25? Really? 25? Okay, where are you calling me from? Look like about 35. Cali. Cali? Capital. What part? Yeah, I live in the capital. So if you know, you know. Okay, the capital of California. What's your zodiac sign? Back to Cali. I'm a Gemini. Cali. Gemini? Do you have any kids? No, I have two cats. Okay. Well, that's good. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I am a luxury companion. What? A what, honey? A luxury companion. A what? What's a luxury companion? Basically, it's kind of like a sugar baby. Huh? So men pay you to spend time with them? Yes. I get paid to go on vacations, go to work events, go to dinner, um, hang out and stuff and have relations with each and every one of those. I believe we call that a prostitute, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry. And what type of men pay you to do these things? All types, all types of races, all types of ages. Um, yeah. Doesn't seem like she likes do you have sex with them. Huh? huh? Do you have sex with them too? Some of them. Now, I paused it right here. Look at that face. Some of them. Why would you be having sex with clients unless sex is your business? And this is what I mean by the wrong decisions. But that face that she makes right there, she's not happy about it. And at least that's a start. Okay, so just curious. What are you looking for tonight on my show? Well, a lot. Kind of perked up when somebody asked her what she was looking for. But go ahead. Like... I would like to find my perfect match. Like perfect um, match. I haven't dated since I've been doing this type of work. I've been doing this type of work for about like mm, a year. That means three years. And I haven't dated since. Good. Because I feel like if it's a good guy, that's not fair to him. But like usually out here in Cali, like I only encounter like, am I allowed to say cuss words? Yeah, sure. I mostly like be encountering hood niggas, so I feel like... Okay, if you mostly be encountering hood Newports, then that tells you something about who you are, right? Because where would you encounter these guys? You got to go where they at. Like, it's not really worth me to not do the type of work. I, and I don't tell them what I do. Um, they know. But, so it's like, why bother getting job if I'm just going to encounter guys that aren't worth me getting a real job. But also, too, I need to let... Okay, that implies there are no guys out there worth you 
getting a job. And here's the thing. There are more guys out there worth you getting a job than the guys that you are encountering. You just don't see them. But in the future, hopefully you will, because those are the type of guys that you're looking for, or at least that you say you're looking for. But the type of guys that you are encountering are the guys that you are really looking for. And that's why you encounter them. To be known, I can easily get a real job. I've had 26 jobs and I've only gotten two. Po baby. You're 25 and you had 26 jobs so far? Yes. What kind, of job, what kind of jobs have you had? I bet none of them was in IT, engineering, mathematics, or science. Some have been real jobs like uh, marketing, um, administrative assistant, stuff like that. Some have been little BS jobs like, you know, just assistant manager at retail or uh, working at a hotel or whatever. So I've had a lot. I get jobs really easily, but... I've been on my own since I was 18 and I. Okay. What does that mean? I've been on my own since I was 17. what that mean? I was just kind of always struggling. So I didn't want to struggle no more. Translation. I'm lazy. I don't want to work. The easiest work I can get is on my back. But I'm still like very educated. Um, I have a college degree. We don't care. I have a degree in marketing. We don't care. Um, you know, I'm very well educated. It's just like, I don't like to struggle. We know you're lazy. So, yeah. So <sighs> Poor baby. So let's take it from here. So Kayla's 25. She's in California. No kids. Her job is a luxury companion. BK Prostitute. Okay, a sugar baby. So you're looking for a man you could be in a relationship with? This is about to get good. Yes. So I grew up very, very traditionally. So I know for a fact I would be the perfect wife. Like I cook, I clean, I know how to treat a man well. Do you know how to keep your legs closed for anyone other than that man? Um... So my goal, like my dream, I would like to find a man and like, you know, we date and then we get married and then we have children and I want to get my real estate license and. Why? And be a real estate agent. Why? Slash housewife. So in this process, are you what? still going to be a sugar baby to other men? Absolutely not. Hey, you get points for that one. No okay. way. The so you're willing to because I want a good guy. I want a good man. And yeah, remember the thug Newports that she was encountering earlier? Those are the guys that actually tickle her fancy. Those are the guys that turn the sprinkler on. The good guy is the guy that she wants to be stable with. But notice only after she's been on the CC for a while. This is bad, ladies and gentlemen. And that's not going to be fair to a good man. It ain't going to be fair to a good man that you've been making your money on your back, ma'am. But also, too, I have to let this be known as well, because they're going to assume like, oh, she's, um, you know, a sugar baby. She's been ran through. Yep. That's what we think right now. Actually, 25. I didn't lose my virginity until I was 20 years old. So... That ain't nothing to be proud of if everybody can just pay a certain amount of money and get it. Well, how many men have you slept with since you turned 20? Mm, I don't know. I haven't counted, but it hasn't been that many. Okay. She didn't count the men that she slept with, but she counted each and every one of them 26 jobs. That's telling. Look at her face. She don't even believe that. Okay, let's let, let me I get you. I don't know, man. I'm seeing some uh, red flags on the mental state here, man. She's not put together all that well. She's been through some things. And I think that's really at the root of the problem. That's why I said this young lady may need help for real. Not help from no man. Not in the way that she's looking for. 
but she needs guidance, ladies and gentlemen, really bad. <laughs> Kayla, wait, hold on. Let, let, let's, let's take it from the top. So you okay. mentioned a good guy a couple times. What kind of man are you looking for? So, number one, I want him to be God-fearing. Hmm? Believe it or not, yes, I'm sinning. The only sins I commit is drinking alcohol and having premarital sex. But And that's enough to send you to hell. Why are we saying that? I've got another video I want to play from another young lady <sighs> to describe what she just said. Um, there's different levels of hell. And the place I was in was concerning lust um being lusted as a little girl the spirit of jezebel entered into my life at that very young age and then as i became an adult um i was she assaulted twice um as an adult so it made it even more easier for me to fall into sexual sin um i did not have a safe space to truly deal with that trauma so as i grew up as an adult i began to use myself in that way thinking that it would fill that void but only see that's what i'm talking about now doesn't that seem like some things that may have happened to this young lady over here i mean think about it look at how she's living man and she knows that she is going against god she knows that she is indeed partaking in sin but she don't seem to be worried about it. The, the lady here in the um, headdress died, went to hell. She has limbs that have been amputated. She's been through a very hard and traumatic um, ordeal. And she's out here trying to warn young ladies just like this young lady here. So let's continue. I'm all about God. So please also be about God. Um, you know, just try. Just try. You don't got to be rich, but you got to have your own everything because I have my own everything. And I would prefer if he didn't have children. But if he's older, then I understand that like, hey, you have children. But like, I prefer if he didn't. Yeah. And we would prefer if you were not a an escort. We would prefer if you were discerning about your body and that you could actually give a man something that was worth something that you haven't given away to somebody else for a price. I'm not that picky. I, my favorite type of men are Spanish speakers, but I don't know if there's any Spanish speakers that watch a show because I ain't never seen them on here before. Spanish speakers in California, you can't say Hispanics? <laughs> now, Kayla. What? You know, sat your ass up here and told us you a luxury companion. Yeah. Men pay you to be a woman. Yeah. And at times, you give them intimacy. Now, yeah. we ain't trying to sit here and not be judgmental and listen, but the first quality you want in your guy is God fearing. Give us some of that Kevin Samuels that you got from Kevin Samuels. But I'm also, but don't you think that like those men are also having premarital sex? What about the men don't? The men doing it? Well, there's a difference between men having premarital sex and women having premarital sex. Primarily that men are men and women are women. It means the same hell for both. But why does what one do justify what the other does? Listen, it's for each day on, and I try my hardest not to be judgmental, but it doesn't align. Like, to me, a God-fearing woman is looking for what they might consider a virtuous woman. And I don't think a God-fearing man that's God looking for man. his virtuous wife would consider a woman who's a sugar baby nope. who goes out with other men to be nope. their woman for the weekend, the nope. month, or whatever. No, we wouldn't. I don't think that's the law of attraction alignment. You know what, Kendra? I think you're absolutely right. And that's probably why, despite the fact that 
I'm well spoken and educated. I haven't found my perfect match because God's not going to bless me with that because why would he? You got a whole lot deeper things to worry about than God bless you with that. Let, let you know, let's get on to this lady here again. I know the enemy's mad and he's looking for every opportunity to try to take my life. But the one thing that allows me um, to not be afraid is to always remember that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. He is my protector. He's my provider. God tells me as many times as I can, tell my people that hell is real. Hell is actually very real. And I pray that this testimony touches someone's heart to repent and turn away from their sin because having sex cannot satisfy you nope. better than the love of Christ, doing drugs, getting drunk. Nothing can satisfy you nope. more than our father. We're going to leave that picture up right there because I think that's fitting for this other young lady. Because I'm not living that type of life. Well, I, I mean, we, we, get, we, we, we blame everything on God at times, but I think it's, not, it's just what you would attract. Like, the energy you're giving out is not that type of energy. You're giving out, like you said, you're a sugar baby currently. You know, there's a lot of titles for that, but we'll run with sugar baby. Uh, no, prostitute. Let's run with prostitute. Sex worker. That That's a better one. Sex worker. So I feel like men who are seeking like wives, they want their wives to be sacred. They, you know, I'm not saying that you can't, I mean, there's a lot of, you know, shots Kim Kardashian, she was on a whole sex tape and got married three times, child. So it can happen, you know. I, uh, She got divorced three times too. I'm not God, I can't put it in a box, but I will say it's just, you know, to say God fearing is the first major quality after you told us what you do, it just seemed kind of crazy. <laughs> it's all the way crazy maybe also to um as far as that that's actually kind of new like i've only been focused on my faith for the last few months because i realized like a few months ago that i don't want to live this life anymore because i'm getting older well, so it's also thing. new for me so it is like but the problem is, is that you don't recognize that until you're getting older, but you're more valuable when you're younger. Y'all don't see that. Do women just not see that? Do they just not care? I mean, what's going on? Like a contradiction. So it's like, girl, you're saying that this is what you want, but you got to start living that life but at the same time. No, 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 no. You should have always been living that life. Now you don't deserve anything more than what you're given. That, that, that's what's going on. She'll never think about it. How can you get a good man pair bond with that man? When you've had all this different experience with all these different men, how is it possible? These men have imprinted on you in some way or another. It's just not fair to a man that just wants one woman that believes that he's supposed to be in the Adam and Eve situation. One woman, one man that you should become one flesh. That's what a lot of us good men are looking for. And how can we do that with somebody that's been with the whole village, man? I don't want to struggle, but you know. You're going to struggle. I do understand. But you said you could get other jobs if you wanted other jobs. Go ahead, Kendra. I'm with you on this one. I just feel like it's never enough. And that's the problem. That's why the red guy wins right there is because you feel like it ain't never enough. Uh, speaking to him. One thing that I can say uh, with passing away, there is no leeway of when I had time to get right with God. There was no repentance. There was no, you know, confession of the sense. There was nothing that took place. Hear that? You ain't have no time. There is no time. When that time come, it can be sudden. And you don't have time to sit up here and straddle a fence. You gotta do what you gotta do. One of your very assignments is to tell my people that hell is real, that they need to repent, turn away from their sin, and turn back to him. And that's the, the very thing that we're missing right here. Repentance. Because I'm quite sure you're getting paid well doing what you do. Yeah, and like, um, yeah, you know, well. um, 
Kendra, I'm Let's sorry. Let's ask you this. On a real talk, why couldn't you settle down with one of your, you, you know, your professional companion, the men that are paying you? Why can't you close the deal with that person who obviously got the money that could pay you to be there one time? Or I don't know. I don't know how your schedule works. I don't know if you got men in rotation. But why haven't you closed the deal with one of those men? Because they don't want her. They know who she is. So they want to pay her to do what they got to do. And that's just to scratch their itch. They don't want to settle down with her. They want a woman who hadn't done all the stuff that she's done. See? See the conundrum? They be having issues? They be having issues. The one issue they have is that you're a prostitute. That's a big issue. Um, They be having a lot of issues. And who's to say, you know, if they understand that all you have to do is like, go on a website, the sugar baby website and find a girl. What if he gets tired of me? And then he goes on there and finds another one. You feel me? Like a younger one, not another one. That's the type of man I want. You got to want the type of man that wants you. That's what you got to do. I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to end right here, man. Cause I think this young lady has messed her life up. I don't think that she's irredeemable. But I think she's got a long road to recovery. And that, to me, is going to take her to repent from what she's doing, stop doing these things, free herself from sexual lust, free yourself from alcohol, free yourself from drugs, learn who you are, learn to be alone with yourself, learn that you can get along with yourself, learn what you need, heal, become someone that someone wants to be with. Stop seeking so much and then you'll find what you're looking for. You can't tell me there aren't good guys knocking her door down. You can't tell me that. But they're boring. They're lame. They don't got swag. They don't got enough money. Even though she says that's not the issue, look at what she's doing. That's the conundrum with women. They say they want this thing over here, but then they really want this. So when they get it, they can't be loyal to it. Anyway, that's my perspective. I hope y'all enjoy. Once again, please check out mediocre tutorials and reviews. The dude is awesome. And I think that, uh, everyone should go and at least give him a sub. So Lord Fader, I'm out. Yo, what if you were to realize the secret to creation lies just behind your eye? Mother of us all, creator of the sky, it was hard to watch you fall. It ain't no surprise that they try to make you small. Uh, what if you cared about your own welfare? What if you took a ride with blowing through your nappy hair? You don't eat out, you work out, and everybody stare, but you don't care. You're so fine, it's probably not fair. Uh, that's why they want to see you locked up or knocked up, so they can corrupt the fruits of your product. The next generation's gonna need you ready. We got enough hoes, we need some black ladies. What if twerking was something that was beneath you? What is working for something that you wanted to do? Get married before you had kids, so maybe they can have a better chance than we did. Uh, I know you don't wanna hear it, but you need to. Everything we all begins and it ends with you. Don't respect yourself and don't respect nobody else too. You good just the way you are, what you trying to do? Don't need attention, need one man to love you. No other woman has a place that's above you And you can do anything that you want to If only you could see yourself the way I do What if we was something you didn't need? Proud of your own hair, yes, Lord, indeed A sight to see, you're quite unique Don't let the beggars of the world treat you like a freak uh, You was born with style and grace Until you drunk the Kool-Aid And that was replaced with an insecurity So you don't like yourself I like you just fine without all the shine. Though you got a nice body, girl, I'm liking your mind. Take the fake stuff off, maybe we can spend time. How you look secondary to the way that you act. Can't say he ain't shit if that's what you attract. Stop running to try and have sex before you train your mind. You got plenty of time. All you missing is an unwanted pregnancy. That's if you're lucky and don't catch no STD. I know you don't want to hear it, but you need to. Everything we all begins and it ends with you. Don't respect yourself and don't respect nobody else to. You good just the way you are, what you trying to do. Don't need attention, need one man to love you. No other woman has a place that's above you. And you can do anything that you want to. If only you could see yourself the way I do.